UK television has aired the final ever episode of Neighbours. Why is this a significant moment? Well, astonishingly, even though it's a moderate hit over in Australia itself, the cost of making that programme has largely been bankrolled by British audiences, eager to hoover up those Antipodean storylines acted out by bleach-blonde, platinum-toothed actors from down under. When Channel 5 decided to no longer air the programme and with no other bidders coming in, that was the end of Ramsey Street. So Neighbours was essentially an Australian show made in Australia for a British audience. And the reason why is because we bloody love Australia. In my view, it's the other special relationship. Australia bravely fought with us in two world wars. And the United Kingdom is the second largest overall foreign investor in Australia, whilst the Aussies are the seventh largest foreign direct investor in Britain. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. The cultural exchange between the two countries has been massive as well, with the importing of true intellectual geniuses like Clive James and the fearless feminist Jermaine Greer. Love Jermaine Greer, as well as comic genius Dame Edna Everidge. And let's not forget pop icon Kylie Minogue. Australian literature is world class. It's music, it's food, it's film industry, all world class. And we know that they're quite good at sport as well. As this bright, sunny and innovative country continues to mature, like so many family members, it may grow further away from us. And that's OK. There's talk of losing the Queen as head of state, but that's a matter for the Australian people. Our history together, our bond and that partnership is insuperable and will grow, but just in a different way. Australia might be on the other side of the world, but we couldn't be closer to our kangaroo-loving cousins. So neighbours may be over, but the storylines in the Anglo-Australian soap opera will continue apace. We've got so many new episodes to share together, based upon our shared values of free enterprise, creativity, sport, industry, culture, and so much more. Plus, Australia was among the first major economies to sign a comprehensive free trade agreement with the UK following our departure from the EU. As the theme tune goes, everybody needs good neighbours. With a little understanding, you can find the perfect blend. Neighbours should be there for one another. That's when good neighbours become good friends. And friends don't get much better than our pals down under. Cheers, Cobber.